Now let's send it over to our very own Chief Meteorologist, Chad Merrill. Chad, how's it looking out there? Hey Tiger, what's that we see in the night sky? It is the supermoon and it's the largest supermoon of the year. Couple of times to keep in mind, folks, will be 7.48 a.m. in the western sky on Thursday. That's when the supermoon will be largest in the sky and it will be setting. And then 6.46 p.m. Thursday afternoon and evening, that's when it will rise in the eastern sky. We are guaranteeing the skies are going to clear out tonight and be clear again tomorrow night. Our temperatures are in the upper 30s, but you're going to want to cover those potted plants before you head to bed. No frost right now, but there will be frost on the ground when you wake up in the morning with temperatures right around 30 degrees. Good news is temperatures are on the mend for the rest of the week. I will be back inside in the studio with your seven day forecast in just a couple minutes. Tiger. And welcome back to Newswatch folks. The viewer photos are pouring in. David captured the super moon in the sky. We still have a couple of stratocumulus clouds moving through so it was filtered through those clouds. Now it's a little bit brighter in the night sky. Louise sent this photo from earlier today and we had mostly cloudy skies across the region. But I guarantee though you will see the super moon in the morning and definitely capture your photo tomorrow evening. We'll put it on the news. You don't see it now but when you wake up tomorrow morning and Friday morning there will be a thick frost across the region. And remember the super moon will be setting in the morning. Super moon again tomorrow night. Comet T Atlas to see in the sky. It'll keep getting higher in the sky through October 24th. We've got mostly clear skies all the way through Sunday, a couple of spits on Monday and Tuesday, but still mild. Temperatures will reach 70 degrees over the weekend and overnight lows will rebound into the low to mid 40s. 